Welcome to Sico Bay 2022. And my presentation is uh, regarding diversity, exclusion, and inclusion. Thank you for joining us wherever you are, either in person or online. A little bit more about me. My name is Jean Joseph. I am a data engineer and my course of MVP. I'm a data community builder for those who don't know me. Um, I'm the founder and the main organizer of a data-driven community. Under data-driven, we have a cloud and feature data-driven user group. I am based out of New Jersey, but originally from uh, Haiti. And uh, I'm a big fan of eating. As you can see, these are my kids, right? And then uh, I love fishing, listening to audio books, watching movies. If you guys want to connect with my data community, this is the barcode you can scan. If you want to connect with me also, feel free to do that. Bef um, before we dive uh, into our presentation, I'm about to do some exercise. Um, your response is the one that will drive the rest of the presentation. And I want you to be very honest. How that exercise will go is that I am about to show you some picture. You're going to help me label them. When you label them, there's going to be a follow-up questions where I will ask you uh, if uh, whatever you label refer to color or geolocations. Uh, based on that, uh, once we're done with the exercise, we, we're going to dive into our main topic. Can you guys help me identify, uh, label this picture? How would you label this picture? Uh, you know, I have only 20 minutes, guys. How would you label this picture? Just being honest, we can label this as black. You see a black female, correct? There's black related to color or geographic location. Okay, perfect. About this, what, what, what do you think? How would you label this picture? Okay, she's Latino because we have me only 20 minutes, right? When you see Latino, does it relate it to geographic location or color? Oh, perfect, geographic location, great. About this, how would you label this? Okay, so you said China. Okay, where, okay, how else would you label it? You see Asian, right? So there's Asian related to geography, location, or color. Okay, about this. How would you label this? American? No, how would you label it? So you, we can clearly see, yep. Okay, does it refer to color or geographic location? Yeah, perfect. So in reality, we have two colors. We have black and white. That's the reality. And in reality, we have four people, two colors, and two, we can identify them by their geographic location, correct? So what happened? Okay. Uh, okay. Um, I'm fine with black and white, but when it comes to Latino and Asian, why we cannot, you know, clearly identify them? Is it because they are not white or black enough? Or what is the reason? You understand? So the reason why I have this with you, just to show you, diversity is one of our main topics nowadays. But however, company throwing money at it to resolve this issue. And then money cannot resolve this issue because before a company lets you in, you're going to have to fill application, right? And within the application, they already categorize you. And you, they force you to categorize yourself. For example, if you're looking at this, you see black or African-American. If I were born in the United States, they would consider me as African-American. But because I'm born outside of USA, they see me as black. As you can see, not only color, 
where uh, uh, your geography location, where you were you, you, you born, can automatically grant you a certain privilege over others. That's the reason why we, as every individual, have to step up and change ourselves because we cannot change the system. It's just a system, but we can change who we are. We can change how we think. By changing ourselves, we're going to make we're going to welcome everybody to the party. This is what we think uh, when, when, when we think of diversity. Diversity is just a fact, guys, to be honest with you. When we're looking at diversity, what do you see? You see, diversity is the only way that will allow you to create impact full of life. That I agree. What do we see again about diversity? You see, diversity gives you the courage to embrace Differences among, among people with respect to their age, um, uh, for example, um, uh, physical size, mental and physical ability, sexual orientation, as you can see there. Okay, you can see, for example, the person, the all kind of personality and other human being differences, right? But there is, uh, for example, one thing you have to understand. Diversity is based on what we call equality. When we're looking at equality, we see giving people the same level of attention, respect, and opportunities, right? How, uh, um, uh, and as you can see, you, you can clearly see from this picture, right? We have uh, six cogs and we have six people. Because we have to make sure everybody being treated the same way, you can clearly see now we don't have equality issue because we don't need six people to do the job, right? We only need one cog to be in motion for all of the cogs to be in motion, correct? You can clearly see how company throwing money because what, what that means when we think of equality, if we focus on equality, we're gonna, uh, there's going to be a ton of staff you, uh, you People will face that will make them feel uncomfortable. And then uh, equality will, not everyone will feel that they are included. What I mean by, if you're looking at this picture, guys, correct? Because diversity is based on equality. They, let's say they invited you, three people to the game, right? If we're looking at, because we have to ensure we give people the same level of respect, the same level of opportunity, even though three people being included, that, does not, that doesn't mean all three of them are belonging. Do you understand? We don't have equality issue, guys. First of all, I'm black. 200 years back, that could have been an auction. We don't have equality issue. Do you understand? So instead of we focus on equality, right, it would be best to educate your employer. Build their self-image. Do you understand? Make them believe in themselves. So for you to, to shift uh, um, uh, your mindset from equality into what we call equity. What I mean by, if you do not educate your employee, you may have great employee, but because if they don't have great self-esteem, guess what happened? If you wanna remove, if you're looking at that, that guy, have uh, the white shirt, he does not need uh, any kind of special treatment there. Do you understand? You can remove the thing and give it to the little boy and make and have the little boy uh, feel that not only he's included, but he's enjoying the game as well. Do you understand? And then equality, um, when I say equity, equity means that forcing equal outcome. And that should be the goal, correct? So if we remove that, as we can see, we, we remove it from the, the guy that have the white shirt. He doesn't need it. And we give it to, to, to the older guy. So what happened? Everybody is able to enjoy. Do you understand? So instead of focusing on equality, I think it would be best to understand people's needs. How many people are alive in the meeting? A couple of people ask a question that was just being answered. You never have this experience? Why? Because uh, 
once you're part of the meeting, everybody think you are included. But what happens with people that have ADHD? They get distracted. Do you, do you understand? Instead of you inviting them, you have to think of other people needs. Record your meeting and give it a retention of seven days. Now, after COVID, do you understand? Everybody forced to work remotely. So what about people that live in a, in, you know, in an environment where the internet signal is not that fast? Sometimes they're just disconnected. And then by being disconnected, they probably miss a tons of information you just share. Do you understand? So all of this equality will never make you think of this. But if you think of equity, you're going to think of people needs. And then that's where, for example, you're going to feel like you have a very healthy environment. So just to recap, because we don't have a lot of times in front of us, right? This is just a 20-minute session. We talked about diversity, right? What we said, we said um, it is just a fact. What I mean by the fact, you have to accept people for who they are. Okay? And then there must be a mutual respect as well. And then one thing I have seen, and I'm not sure if everybody done the same observations, if you're looking at sometimes what people do, what calls reserve judgment. What I mean by, I don't know if you guys ever done that observation. I have done it where they invite people to talk, talk about diversity. When, they, when the black guy comes, he said, I'm proud to be black and represent all black people. What about other people that are alive? I'm, I'm proud to be a Latino female and represent all Latino people. What about other people that are alive with you? Do you understand? And I'm proud to be Asian and represent all Asian people. You know what's so funny? I heard one say, I'm proud to be a female CEO. Where are all the female CEO? And guess what happened? What about me that are alive? And then when they invite white people, they have to do what called reserve judgment. They said, it's an honor to be here and a privilege we admit the situation and we need to take action, step up and see how we can resolve it. Because if the white people said, I'm proud, that's going to go value. And sometimes you have to be aware of your body expression, your language and everything, not to automatically exclude others, right? So that's called reserve judgment. Not everything you see in needs an action. So, and then what I like is that diversity of thoughts over ratio, and then what else we talk? We talk about inclusions. As we just saw, the little boy um, was there, but he was not able to enjoy the game. As soon as we shift our mindset from equality into equity, we were able to resolve the solutions. But one thing you have to understand is that uh, um, inclusion is your personal responsibility. Inclusions. The only thing that's rely on the outside is the strategy they need to implement to make everybody feel included. It doesn't matter how healthy your environment is, if you have people that have low self-esteem, they will always feel hurt by how people reacting. Because we come from different cultures, uh, what is good for you may not be good for me. So, but understanding that will allow you to keep up with your relationship. And guess what happened? Like I said, um, uh, it is your personal responsibility. We talked me about, we spoke me about belonging. Belonging is, a, is um, uh, for example, where you feel like you, um, you feel very motivated. Belonging and inclusions are two different things. No one can make you feel excluded if you have great self-esteem, self-image. But no one cannot motivate you if the environment does not desire for you to be motivated. So put that in mind. So that means you have to think of what called belonging over in, uh, inclusions, social engagement over control. Whenever I'm saying social engagement over control, what I like to see is that there is something that is stronger than racism. Equ equality cannot resolve it. Equity cannot resolve it. And, and that thing is insecurity. I have seen places where white people put black people on top of another white people because the other white people was very 
good at what he's doing when it comes to technical skills and soft skills, but that white people, uh, the other group feel insecure. So guess what happened? They put another white people on top of that. So be, why? Because insecurity does not have rules. It's interest. Whenever interest involved, so guess what happened? People might say change. But if, you, if we educate our staff, we make them believe that social engagement is better over control, and then there's going to be a meaningful accountability. So what, what, what else? Uh, we, we spoke now about equity. We should always uh, go for equity instead of equality because equity, when you see it, you see fairness. Do you understand? You don't want to treat people the same way because you don't want to give people the same task of assignment. We, we are not the, none of us have the same level of intelligence, correct? Some people can do a lot and some people cannot do. So that means you, you have to think of people's needs and then do uh, what best for everyone based on their needs. And then with that said, I know I don't have enough time and I left three minutes in case if you guys have any question. If you haven't, I would highly suggest you, for example, to go and fill out, you know, on the feedback section and then don't forget to read and review. That would help me improve that session and share the message with all my others. Thank you so much.